Hey there, it's Lori here. I am stopping in today with a video for this year's A Very Crafty Holiday over at MFT. Each day, we're gonna have a video from one of us showing how to make fun gifts and cards and tags. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a very clean and simple card set. If you follow my blog, you know that I love clean and simple. I love white space and I just like to be able to make quick cards and for Christmas I feel like that's definitely a time where you want to bust out a bunch of cards at once and so that's what we're going to do today. For the card that I'm making today we're going to use hand lettered holiday greetings from MFT. This is a new stamp set from this month and these sentiments are so pretty. I love hand lettered fonts so this is one of my favorites. We're also going to be using this tree from Trio of Tree. We are going to be using non-traditional Christmas colors in rainbow order. You definitely don't have to use rainbow colors when you make this card and uh, we can talk about that as we go along. I also have five card fronts just because I'm going to whip out five of these cards right quick. These are just uh, four and a quarter by five and a half white card stock and that's all you're going to need. You don't need a misty to create this card but sometimes in assembly line stamping a misty will definitely help you with the process. To get started I'm going to use this small thin tree image and I'm going to place it right here on the bottom of the card front. I'm going to pick that up with my misty and I'm going to be using wild cherry Premium dye ink from MFT. The nice thing about the Misty is if you don't get a good image the first time, you can always re stamp it in the same place. And now we're just going to go through and stamp all five in the red. now we're going to move on to the orange zest ink. Now I've cleaned the stamp for the orange but I don't want to transfer any ink to the front and make a mistake on the card front so I'm going to use a piece of clear plastic to cover the card front while I place the next stamp down and that way I can just move this around wherever I want it. I'm not going to make these even along the bottom I'm just going to add them to the card front in a staggered line. Now I'll just pick that up and remove the plastic and I'll start stamping with orange zest. Same thing again, I'm going to clean my stamp. I use Kirkland's baby wipes from Costco's, there's no lint. I'm going to go ahead and dry the stamp with a microfiber cloth just to make sure it's dry just because I don't want to transfer the ink but I'm still going to be safe and use the plastic. And now I'm going to go down just a little bit farther and we'll move on with lemon chiffon. So now we have the first three colors stamped. I'm still going to stamp sour apple and blue raspberry. Now that we have all five trees stamped on the card front along with five other card bases or four other card bases, now we're going to just simply add the sentiment. I'm just going to stamp right over the trees. The nice thing about these um, handwritten fonts, they don't have to be straight. You can set them to the side. You can straighten them out, but they are just kind of messy enough that they can sit wherever you want them. So I'm just going to place this to the side of the card covering a couple of the trees. And we'll go ahead and stamp all five cards. Assembly line stamping is really the way to go when you're mass producing cards. A good simple one layer card is also perfect for mailing. So those are things you want to take into consideration when you're mass producing time and really the cost of shipping. When you're just sending out a flat card, it's the best way to go. To add one more detail, I'm going to show you an easy way to add a scored detail to the front of your card. You want to use your score pal or your score buddy, um, whatever scoring tool you might have. And I'm going to use um, just a stylus to do this. I'm going to 
gonna make a half inch frame around the card and I'm gonna exclude several areas and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Basically, you know that you wanna score from the side of the card, which is it gonna be four and a quarter, you're gonna wanna go into the three and three quarter inch line. And I'm gonna go just about a half inch down, press in, and then drag that half inch line down to the top of the happy tail. I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom, kind of eyeballing your half inch mark and then up. And that way you have two debossed lines right here. I'm gonna do the same thing just by turning the card and I'm gonna go over here from the five and a half down to the five, press in my stylus till I find that groove and then slide down to the half inch mark. You can see I have a little space there but since I've eyeballed it, you can go back and just let those lines meet up. I'm gonna do the same thing by turning the card again from four and a quarter going into three and three quarters. I'm not gonna put anything down there because I want this to come up about right here. Find that groove and then pull all the way to your half inch mark. And then we'll do the same thing by meeting the five inch mark and just dragging it a little bit under that blue tree. And I think I'm gonna leave that corner just to where I have the frame on these sides here. Now, to get the embossed look, all you have to do is turn your card over and retrace the embossed lines on the back to push those lines back down in. Once you get going on this for all of your cards, it is really a fast and easy detail. This card required just a few supplies. White cardstock, my ink cubes, black ink, two stamp sets, and a scoreboard. So this is a simple and quick card with a fun little embossed detail. Now, if you go over a little bit to where you have an extra score line, just take your bone folder and just rub just a little bit and it will just kind of almost erase that scored line. If you don't trust yourself to hit that half inch mark, you can always take a pencil and measure in from the top and the side, make a little dot to your half inch mark, and then start there and score down. Now you have five perfectly embossed, non-traditional rainbow Christmas cards. Remember that you don't need to use rainbow cards. You could alternate a blue and a green for the Christmas trees. You could alternate a red and a green for the Christmas trees. You could really do these in, in any color you want. I'm gonna go one more step for these cards just to make them colorful and I'm gonna add colored bases. I have the same matching cardstock bases and I'm just gonna add those to the card. I'll score these at five and a half. Then I always use ATG to attach my card fronts because this is a really good strong adhesive. Start by just tipping your card down and pushing it to the corner, top and bottom, and then just drop your card and that should cover your card front perfectly.
Here you have five perfectly stamped cards ready for a card set. You could use these to mail or as a gift. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Stop over to the MFT blog to learn more about a very crafty holiday and all of the videos that you can see this week. Hope you have a great day.